Okay, hello everyone. What we'll do today is we're going to take a look at the first section of exponentials. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the basic things that most of you will already know, but just to review them and make sure that we're clear about what they mean. So you have things that are called index notation and negative basis, and that's what we'll start off with. So just to go ahead and take a look, let's go ahead and just make sure that we can understand all the notation and terminology associated with exponentials. If you have, say, for example, something that looks like 5 to the 7, then of course the 5 is going to be considered the base, and 7 is going to be considered the exponent. And the key to remember is that only the base is multiplied to itself the number of times that it's written in the exponent. So say, for example, if we go ahead and take a look at these two examples here, which is negative 2 to the 4th, and this one over here, which the negative 2 is actually in brackets, raised to the 4th, uh, what is the difference between these two? Well, hopefully, even if you take a look at the way that you say this, this is actually negative 2 to the 4th, but this is negative 2 quantity raised to the 4th. Now, uh, what this means, of course, then, is that this is actually going to be a negative 1 times by 2 times by 2 times by 2 times by 2, whereas this one here is actually going to be negative 2 times by negative 2 times by negative 2 times by negative 2. This one here is going to be negative 16, whereas this one here is going to be 16. So it's going to be very important in terms of actually simplifying exponentials to realize exactly what the base is, because especially when it comes to negatives, if you do not apply this correctly, and especially when you can put it into your calculator, you're going to come out with an, an, an incorrect answer. So, aside from that, of course, there are all these index rules that most of us have already gone through and I'm expecting you to all know. So you can go ahead and refer back to the textbook to find out what those are. Now, one other big question with regards to exponentials, of course, when we start off with expressions, is how do you know if an exponential expression is completely simplified? Well, if you have these four components here, then you know that they are simplified. So are all the exponents positive? Is each index a proper fraction? Are all common factors are canceled? And grouping symbols about monomials are eliminated. So if those four conditions are, are taken care of, then you know for, for sure that the exponential expression is completely simplified. So let's just take a look at one simple example. And let's make sure that we can check whether something is simplified or not. So let's just say that we have 9 times by negative 3 raised to the negative 4th power, all divided by x plus 3 raised to the negative 3 power. Now, if we just go ahead and take a look at this, there's a couple of things. Of course, the exponents are not positive, so we need to change that. The index is a proper fraction. There's no fractional exponents at this point, so we're fine. All common factors are canceled. That's not necessarily the case because of this here. And the grouping symbols about the monomials are eliminated. So let's just simplify this. Let's first eliminate all the negative exponents. So this is just going to be 9 times by x plus 3 raised to the third, all divided by negative 3 raised to the fourth. So if we go ahead and continue now, we can go ahead and write this as 9 times by x plus 3 raised to the third, all divided by, well, the negative 1 times raised to the fourth power is going to eliminate the negatives, right? Because that's negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. That's just 1. And this is just going to be 3 to the fourth. So of course, we can then go ahead and change this 9 to two, 3 to the second. And that means that we can cancel out common factors. And we come up with x plus 3 to the third, all over 3 squared, which is 9. OK, so. All exponents are positive, sure enough. Okay, now of course this is 3 to the squared, that's still a positive exponent. Each index is a proper fraction. Now there's no index there which has a rational fraction, so we're okay. All common factors are cancelled, which we've already done, and the grouping symbols of all the monomials are eliminated. Now of course with this here, you don't have to go ahead and expand that because that was actually going to be an elegant form or factor form of this particular triangle. Okay? Oh, sorry, that's not a triangle. I think that's a four term whole one. So, there you go. Index notation, negative basis. Again, starting from the beginning, making sure that we know the terminology and notation and the rules, and making sure that we know how to go about 
and determine whether or not an expression, an exponential expression, is completely simplified. Okay, so hopefully you can do well in this one. This should hopefully be a review for most of you, and we'll see how you do the next time that we meet.